Promotional consideration and services for Sister Talk TV show are provided by Soul Purpose, Body, Beauty, Style, and Spirit. Something on your mind anytime. I'm here to listen. Sister Talk. When you need someone who understands, I know what you're missing. Sister Talk. No matter what you're going through, don't worry, I ain't going nowhere. Sister Talk. If you ever feel alone, say the word, I'll be right there. Sister Talk. Sister. 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 Sister Talk. Sister. 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 Sister Talk. Sister. I want to talk about uh, LaShondra Armstrong. LaShondra Armstrong, 25-year-old mother, drove her minivan along with her four children into the Hudson River. Three of her children, as well as LaShonda, perished. Their ages were 2, 5, and 11 months old. Her oldest son, 10-year-old, managed to escape. Why are mothers murdering their children? I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand it. And it really, really touched me. Was it postpartum depression? Was it the media effect? Medea effect. I'm, I'm sorry. The Medea, uh, if you don't know, was a it was is a, a play, a Greek tragedy. It's about a woman who was betrayed by her husband and takes it out on takes it out by killing her children to get back at her husband. Is that what it's all about? Is it mental illness? I, I don't, you know, I just don't get it. What I want to say, first of all, is that if there's anybody in our listening audience that feels they need support um, when we give out the number to call in today, mm -hmm. and like you were saying, not to be afraid to reach out for support. I don't know what her issue is, but when I thought about this topic, I'm just like, okay, from this point forward, I want to be aware, I want to be sensitive to whoever else is going through something like this, to lend an ear, to guide them to a mental health facility. Right. And I just wanted to use this to talk today even as a forum. If there's anybody out there that, you know, by the grace of God is listening and they feel they just need some support, your sisters are here for you to be supportive. And um, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to reach out to a mental health institution. And we can get further into her particular situation, but I just wanted to um, extend that out to our listening audience today. What do you think about that? Um, you know, domestic abuse, psychological and emotional abuse, is probably the most damaging of all because there's no scars. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there was a thought and this is very dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. So um, there was a thought about, you know, maybe this was a, a uh, an effect because of the emotional and, you know, uh, domestic abuse. Well, she, I think, and, um, you know what the issue I have with that is that we can't really blame the father. I, I, no, I, you, I can't, can't, but you, you can't. No, but you know what? Th this is the thing that I got to say to all you women that are abused out there. You are beautiful and you deserve the best. Okay, I want to note this. We don't know if she was abused. No, but I'm just saying yeah. because anytime I just you want have to clear that up yeah, though, okay? But, they're, they're, but you know what? In all honesty, I really feel like she was. And maybe not physical, but definitely mental. Okay. Or just because worn down. down. Yes, just but that's, worn but that's, down. But that's yes. abuse. Mm -hmm. to me, but, but I think that's that abuse. you have a 25, and yes, abuse. And that's abuse a, of not, self I don't, we don't know what's going on in her family, so I'm not going to, you know, say anything about that. But society, period. In Britain, when you have a baby, let's go to the postpartum depression. In Britain, or outside the United States, when you have a baby, the doctors, the medical team, the psychiatrists, they monitor you months after you have a baby. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. It's not really a good support system here. But the only that. reason why I don't feel like it's postpartum is because she's had oh, it's, other it's children. Totally, totally it's totally No, she had other children. 15 so, years old. Yeah, 10 but, years, but she's yeah. had other children. Mm -hmm. So there had to be something else outside of that because postpartum depression, it, it, you'll start seeing the indications and, right now. And, and I think sometimes people are, are more stressed out than they even realize. Yes. That's why I just wanted to start with you. Have any
any inkling of, of thinking about, you know, uh, having a, your own demise and that if you, if you have any thought, go talk to a friend, go get a, a mental health counselor right away because sometimes we don't even realize how much we have been consumed by negativity, as you said, even the devil. A lot of people call her evil. They're calling her, why would she take her children? And But you know, it reminds me of Andrea Yates. You remember that yeah. woman in Texas? She violently drowned all five of her children. You know, and uh, she chased the, the 10 year old around the house. He knew what was happening and chased him around the house and left him in the pool in the, uh, in the bathtub. You know, but she got, I felt like she's gotten a lot of uh, support. Being that this is a black woman, do you think she would get the same support as Andrea Yates? Hi, this is Sister Talk TV show. I'm Dietra Kelsey. Right beside me is Robin Downs, and right beside me again is Nadine Thompson, CEO of Soul Purpose. Nadine, I am so happy that I am an entrepreneur of Soul Purpose and that you are sponsoring Sister Talk TV show with your Soul Purpose product. We are honored. Can you tell me what is the advantage of, be, of being an entrepreneur? For instance, for Robin, she may be interested in being a distributor herself. Absolutely, absolutely. There are really a lot of benefits. First of all, you're in business for yourself, yes, but not by yourself. So mm -hmm. you have an opportunity to be an entrepreneur. And how could you create wealth through this? Uh, great question, Robin, great question. Really, be, by doing the business, selling the products either directly to customers, mm -hmm. through parties, through direct sales, building a team, mm -hmm. if you're somebody who's interested yeah. in building an organization and yeah. really creating you know, a, a reasonable size income, making yeah. a few thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. Some people make right now around six, seven thousand a month. Wow. Some mm -hmm. women make a few hundred a month. Wow. So it really depends on what you want to do. If you want to build a team, you can. If you want to just sell directly, you can. So there's there are many benefits. We offer you your own website with your own shopping cart. That's great. That's you have great. your own sole purpose um, mm -hmm. email address. Yes. Uh, contact information. Your customers can shop from you 24 seven. There's a chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a chat for them to you can earn up to 30% mm -hmm. uh, on the product sales and mm -hmm. then a lot more on your commissionable sales. All right. So it really is a wonderful opportunity. As you can see, the products are fun. Mm -hmm. We have new product launches every few months. That's great. So there's always new things coming out. Mm -hmm. But really, this is an opportunity for women and for men mm -hmm. who want to create wealth, who want to you know create another stream of income, yes. who want to subsidize an existing income yeah. if you're not making enough and you want to start saving or you want to buy that new car a new home mm -hmm. if you want to you know an extra few hundred dollars a month to meet you know an educational expense right. this is the opportunity and to how do it. fast can you see the return on your uh, initial we, immediately that's great we pay you right away as you get started mm -hmm. we have a great system where we can deposit right into your bank account as you make your funds okay. and again you have a shopping cart which everybody gets right away right. and so they can go to your website Mm -hmm. They can shop from you like your viewers mm -hmm. now that you are an entrepreneur so, yes. <laughs> and we're sponsoring. You know, people can come on and they can mm -hmm. they can shop for, with you. And plus, you've got a great team of people. We have entrepreneurs around the country. Mm -hmm. We have a very strong network here in New York. Yes. And so it really is wonderful. We have meetings and mm -hmm. training events. So there's trainings every Tuesday night on yeah. the phone. We have recorded trainings. Mm -hmm. We have um, YouTube stuff that we're wow, putting together. Great support. So there's a lot of support. Exactly. Yeah for entrepreneurs because it's a lot about personal development, mm -hmm. leadership development, professional development, so we try to hit it from all angles. My daughter Camilla, why don't you come on and, and share with us. Camilla is one of my big fans, <laughs> um, her and her friends, and yes. Camilla's got very, very sensitive skin. Yes. And so we've been using uh, the Ghanaian brown sugar mm -hmm. and honey with her. Okay. And the products are really good. They're not greasy. You can put them on. Camilla, will you be our hand model today? Sure. Okay. Okay. I love your fingernail polish. Oh, my God. Look at the gold on yeah. the fingers. Yeah. Can I feel your skin come yeah. out? Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So I have 
sensitive skin also. Yeah, yeah Camilla's got very sensitive. And you see when you put it on, it's not oily at all. Right. We use vitamin D as well as acai berry, organ, mm -hmm. a grape, red wine, wow. green tea. Wow. And we use vitamin D and vitamin E in our products. So, so not very, only, very rich. Not only can you put it on, you can eat it too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. And a lot of young girls like it. I wanted to bring Camilla on because, you know, as you're starting your business, mm -hmm. you're going to run into a lot of young women who are looking to supplement their income in high school, in mm -hmm. college, they're looking for ways. And, you know, young people are really uh, the way to go with a lot of our marketing and they really like the products. Okay, that sounds very good. You know, I just can't wait to start selling. How about you, Robin? Are you going to jump on board or it what? It looks like <laughs> a very interesting endeavor. Uh, okay. The products seem to sell themselves. They really, and really do. Good also. And, and yes. whether somebody wants to be a distributor like yourself, yeah. if Robin has her other businesses going on, we would love for her to host a party mm -hmm. because we need customers and we need hosts. That sounds so like not everybody fun. may Most want to distribute, so but other people may want to host a party for you, okay. bring your girlfriends and co-workers over for a fun night, and then you can earn free products for just hosting a party. That that sounds like fun. You that can have a mineral fun. makeup party where okay. you just do makeovers mm -hmm. using the all-natural mineral makeup. Mm -hmm. You can do couples pamper parties, That's fun too. You know, which, which would be great. So it's very I'm, exciting. You know, I'm so glad that I am a distributor. I know we're living in the recession right now, but I do believe that there's still money out there. And we do need something to supplement Absolutely. our income. What you're doing is empowering women. Thank and I you. told you on the phone the other night that you are hope for a lot of women out there. I'm Not sorry. only can you be a customer, you're having fun being a customer by ha having these parties and also being a salesperson, entrepreneur by selling it also. Yes. So you are definitely empowering women. Like and I we support said, you in doing that. We yes, provide you do. a lot of training for you. Yes, Absolutely. you do. I'm so excited in doing it. If you all want to become a sole purpose entrepreneur, please call the number at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Dietra Kelsey. I'm Robin Downs. Nadine Thompson. CEO of Soul Purpose. This is Sister Talk TV show, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye. Welcome to Sister Talk TV show. This is Dietra. How are you? Hi. Hi. What's your um, What's your comment or question? I'm not going to be on here long. I just want to say I, I, I like the show from what I'm seeing, and I, I like the comments and the topic and everything, which is heartbreaking. Yesterday, I went to go get my hair done in the in the beauty shop. I heard the, on the radio the father of the ten year old. They interviewed him. He's in jail. Yes. And he was very distraught because you know he doesn't have a relationship with his son because he's incarcerated. Right. And he was saying how much he loves his son. Yes. And that he wished that he was not in his situation so that he could be there for him. Right. My thing with this whole horrible situation is. You know, aside from what the mom was going through, obviously she was going through a lot, whether it was because of the dad or because of her or because of society. Yes. We'll never know because right. she's not here to tell us. But what I don't like is the media. Mm. Why did they have this little boy on television the other morning? He's he 10. He's a minor. Right. Why are they interviewing him? He's a child. Who's responsible for him? Why are they letting this happen? You know, you, going back to my point, Andrea, Andrea Yates, when she killed all her children mm -hmm. violently mm -hmm. uh, and back in Texas, there was so much support for her mm -hmm. from what I remember. Mm -hmm. But for this woman here, LaShondra Armstrong, I had a problem with that too. I had mm -hmm. a problem with the, uh, this 10-year-old boy all in the media, his you name. You saw him all in America the other day. They yeah. showed him walking down a ramp someplace. Yeah, on a baseball field or yes, something. Yeah, yes. He's a child. They don't do this, and I'm not trying to be racial, but let's be real. Yes. They don't do it to the white kids. Mm. I haven't seen one white kid where they had a tragedy like this, and they had their face plastered all over the news. Mm. It's not right. And this child is going through what I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, right. Can't having imagine. to escape his mom trying to kill him, that's not a joke. That's not a joke, no. 
Thank you, thank you, uh, Molly. You're welcome. Thank you for calling, and please hey, continue I, like to I look said, at the I don't show. I want to take up all you ladies' time, but I just had to say that, you okay. know, because I think it's disgusting. And I mean, that was very important, thank also. You. Thank and you. And any other issues y'all have, I will be calling you back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay thank we have you. one more call. Um, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're watching Sister Talk TV show live. Yes. What's your name and what's your comment? Yes, I do. My name. <laughs> what's your name again? Sir? Yeah, my name is Mu Yudin. Okay, what's your comment or question? My comment basically is, I just want to say that um, it was very unfortunate that the, the kids had to pass away and this woman passed away. However, I just want to say that I think this was her, her death was a sacrifice. Whoa. And I feel like she might have saved more people. <laughs> you know, you know, God works in mysterious ways. Yes, so I feel like this was a wake-up call for the world. You know, and it's unfortunate, but I really think that, you know, she really probably saved some lives in a way, in, in a different type of way when you look at it, you know, okay. but it's very unfortunate and it's sad that the kids had to die as well, but okay. I'm, I'm glad you guys have a wonderful program, it's really good, and I'm, I'm definitely going to support it. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Wow, uh, I got chills thinking about yeah, that, that one. Just gave me chills. Oh, yeah, yeah. woo, well, because her spirit came through yeah. and says, yes. <laughs> She sounded the alarm to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. I mean, because she posted on Facebook, you know, mm -hmm. sorry that I have to do this. And um, and whatever her reasoning was, it definitely is a sign of the times. Right. When we look back at this, you know, historically, um, you know, people coping with the Great Recession. Mm -hmm. And um, once again, I can't imagine what it's like to be in your 20s and be responsible as a single parent yeah, for so 25, many. 25, 25 years years old four, four children, children. four children so so and once again with us today saying you know everyone seek help seek support right. it's real so I really appreciate that call because right. I, I do have a sense as well okay. um, I think you should the also alarm. go over the signs too so they have to call me okay sure that. yes mm -hmm. okay um, you're watching sister talk TV show live what's your name and where are you calling from my name is Maxine Wilkes. Okay, hi Maxine. What's your hi. comment and question? And I would just want to say something. I had heard that we were talking about the young, the young sibling that was that was that was managed to get out of the car. Yes. Did they not take him down to the boat ramp where that car went off the ramp? Yes, they did. I, they showed that on TV the other day. Yes. Yesterday, I think. Why would they take that baby? To that, to, to that particular situation that he swimmed out of yeah. and saved his own life. Do you know what that child is going through? What's wrong with the grandparents and the great grandparents? And, and the, I know the father's incarcerated. You know, when you got, yeah, you, when you got people coming to you with white coats on, um, you, you tend to think they know what's right or what's best for you Not and me. your family. And I, I can't really, you know, put fault on the family on uh, that. You know what? Because you know, they're know in shock what also. They're, they're in shock also. Okay. I just feel like I don't know what they could have offered the grandmother that was in the car and the, and, the, and the, her mother. What did they say to these people to, to allow them to to uh, to uh, to do this to this little boy? Black people get their knowledge together and stop being fools. I, I know you're not. Amen. No, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna attack the family. I'm not gonna attack the family. They're trying to do the best they can with what they're going through. Thank you for your call. Thank you for your call. I'm so glad. Um. I think, you know, one of the things, because there had to be signs, mm -hmm. right? you know, and, right. and sometimes we don't pay attention to these signs, so That's I thought maybe, I opened it up, listen yeah, to Yeah, I think maybe we should talk a little mm -hmm. bit about that. Well, back in February sometimes, the boy, uh, one of the, the kids were walking around naked outside. That was a big sign right there. Oh. Right, but even with her. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But that, uh, that's that's the sign. She that's wasn't sign. able to. Well, hold up, call. Go ahead. She wasn't able to pay attention to her children. Is what she was saying. I didn't mm -hmm. hear that before. Yeah, okay. I, I read when I was doing the research. But go, yeah, but when, you, when, when, when somebody that you know it starts becoming more withdrawn, they're not being as responsive. Mm -hmm. They're not being as attentive. Mm -hmm. They're not addressing things that they normally do. They may be changing their diet. They may be changing their their tone as as far as talking. Or, e or even. Even the, the real thing of like, I'm going to do something that 
uh, I hope you don't feel bad, you know, just paying attention when people are really telling you something that you may just think to, to brush off, oh, they'll get over it. And, you know, take a moment, stop, it's pay attention, help. exactly. And if you don't know what to do, call, call support, call right. some backup, call professionals. Okay, we have one more phone call. You're watching Sister Talk TV Show Live. What's your name and where are you calling from, caller? Hello? Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm calling from Manhattan, and my name is Vercel. Hi, Hi Vercel. Vercel. Okay, I'm calling. There's no one speaking up for the father, father of those other three children that died. Mm. We don't hear anything from him. It's got to be something. he got to feel something inside. And he had three of his children taken away from him. Well, you know, I, I have to go back to saying that the fam people handle crisis in different ways. Uh, that person may be, the father may be in shock. You know, I'm not going to, this is not about beating up the, the father or the family. It's a really, it's about LaShondra Armstrong. And the caller that, that called before, and I, this is the only way I could say it, the sacrifice that she yes, did, yes. you know, to and unfortunately to address this issue. It's a crisis in our community. Emotional consideration and services for Sister Talk TV show are provided by Soul Purpose, Body, Beauty, Style, and Spirit.